cash, I see why you don't understand UFO, uniquely flying outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing tall, never too far Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall to the mothership bitches <laughs> what's up how you doing it is a pleasure to be back it is b we on the mothership welcome to the who that podcast the liveest podcast inside of the mississippi and the nile river that means everywhere everywhere you know what i mean it, it feels great to be back it is season three Ooh, wait, did wait. you miss us i know you did I know you did. <laughs> Shout out to all the support. We feel great being back. It's awesome. As always, we got the Captain Paco. What's up? What's up? Man, how you doing? Everything's good. What man, I, hey, bro, I'm happy, man. We are we are on the mothership, bro. <laughs> we are broadcasting once again. Right. How you feel? Everything's been good. Life's been good. Uh, been busy. Yeah, yes, getting ready busy. To roll out these movies we about to shoot. Uh-oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all thought your boys wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. Yo, but uh, we got a whole new fresh season for you. And this is the, the inaugural episode. And like always, we have abducted some earthlings to come up here and, and kick it. They're going to be rocking with us. And we have the uh, the very very talented and entertaining <laughs> informational um, Royce Massengill from the Royce's Rant, his his podcast. Make sure you go check it out. We have uh, let's uh, hit him with the let's hit him with the guest screen first. Hold on, yeah. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Royce Massengale, <laughs> and I don't know how to stretch out more here. And we have, <laughs> we have the beautiful and the funny and the very talented Miss Jamie Moorhead helping um, us out. Now you clean that up right there. You did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank y'all for uh, coming on the mothership with us. Thank you. Already, man. I'm liking the setup, man. Right. I think we're in the spaceship. It looks like we're in the spaceship for real. For real, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Captain's log looking at it. Yeah. 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 
Captain's love. Yeah. Love <laughs> you know, go ahead and uh, just introduce yourselves and uh, let the guests know who you are and what you're about, you know? All right. Ladies first. Why are you going to put me on the spot? All right. Ladies. I'm Jamie. Um, my, I'm on the owner and creator of Jay's Butter. And um, I'm an event coordinator, too our curator and um that's it i mean that's all you're gonna get from me i'm a stylist i mean i do a lot of things really you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna hand it over to him all right what up everybody it's uh it's your boy royce the voice launch click launch leader shout out to kt speak your thoughts to lose your mind royce manson good for the royce royce's rant podcast man you know what i'm saying and uh um i'm i'm a uh you know content curator i'm a producer actor writer and uh a cinematographer you dig what i'm saying and uh, Jamie and I uh, have, have came together this past year and year and started doing some events down here in Tullahoma, Tennessee, and amongst other places in the Tri County area. And we've come together again to, uh, you know, give our uh, give our locals here in our regional our area people here uh, a nice event that we're going to be talking about here soon. So we excited to you know get to talking about it amongst other things. And thank y'all for having us on the on the on, right, on, the, on the opening the, this third season. Right on the mother. You got to say right on the mothership, man. Exactly. Yeah, this feel, yeah. Yes. That makes it even more special, man. We appreciate that. Real right, talk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have some big business to talk about. All right. We have some some news to discuss and and it's going to make a lot of people very very happy. So, uh we got Juneteenth right around the corner. Y'all mm-hmm. are organizing. Is this y'all second uh Juneteenth going on down there in in, in Tullahoma? Is this what which one is this third? Second which one? It's our second event. The second you know event. What I'm saying? But it's our Ju- first Juneteenth here in Tullahoma. Oh. Yeah. Really? Right. Yeah, yeah. So this, so this is, is our this is our, this is our this is our second Yeah, this is our second Juneteenth event cuz we had it in Winchester. We had one in Winchester, the we historical fountain. Yeah, we were just yeah, go there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this is Tullahoma's. We gave Tullahoma's the first one at our historical uh CD stamp uh Davidson Academy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, bro. All right. yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah. That's good though. Yeah. Hitting with some of that culture. Yeah. 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 I know. What inspired y'all to do this? Whew, man. Um you, you want I'm gonna let you all right. right. So really, you know, Sorry. uh just to keep it honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Like personally, just myself, I wanted, you know, I I wanted to give something back to Tullahoma, you know, and when we were asked to help with the Juneteenth event, you know, uh, I keep it real. I, I I wasn't too much uh, knowledgeable about event coordinating. Like that's all her. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I met her in the first place. I met her. She was doing a, an event here in Tullahoma, uh-huh. uh, uh-huh. being the first black woman to sell out an event like this and having the first black art event at the Tullahoma uh, art, center. art center. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> she's the coordinator. Like. <laughs> I'm learning from her, you know what I mean? But I just kind of had the idea of like, man, maybe we should, we, we need to bring it here to Tullahoma. We already had it in Winchester. We saw, we sold out there and we're like, I wonder if Tullahoma would really like this. So, um, we're not really telling the whole story. So really last year, we wanted to have it <laughs> at CD it. Stamps. Like that's what his, he has suggested. Oh, yeah. And then we got the price, you know what I'm saying? And we are like, ah, ain't nobody paying all that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. To be at that building. And so then we ended up going to Winchester but then, you know, Royce's rant got on and ranted and they tried to fix it afterward, but we had already had committed to right. Winchester. That's why it ended up being in Winchester. So this year, though, you know what I'm saying? Because he ranted last year. Uh-huh. Now they, now they, now they got that. Now they jumped on board. You know what I'm saying? There you go, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, they they cleared those fees this this they year did. though. They did. Like they did something like that. That was so we partnered right. with Parks and Rec. So, nice. so that yeah. building and location is actually it was free to us. Okay. We got it decorated and everything, but everything you know what I'm saying was free. Yeah. Okay. I just want to jump in real quick just to just to note something so uh, for people, if you're trying to figure out how to change something, if you're trying to figure out why how you get something going, if you're trying to figure out why things aren't happening, if you just start to speak up then you can you see the the changes that can be made like if you just decide i'm just gonna speak up that's right. how you get things at least rolling oh, that's yeah. how you start yeah. to affect something like so if you're just gonna right. sit there and complain then speak out about it and be informed be be rational right. and logical and have have an approach on, on how you're gonna speak on it because the brother's very smart so don't think you could just start just yelling and screaming and stuff you can't rush the stage all right but, <laughs> right, right, but right. if you real deal if you real deal inform yourself and then speak out on something then you don't know what the what what god gonna do and how how opportunities are gonna shape themselves and and, and, yeah. and what things are gonna be fixed you know what i'm saying 
So right. I just wanted to point that out. Like he's mm-hmm. he spoke up and and it took and now the next year around they like, hey, all right, you ain't about to do that again. You ain't about to right. <laughs> Yeah, about I think to, it, I think yeah, it was gonna rant on us again. <laughs> <laughs> <That your event. laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it was also the relentlessness too, like, okay, well you're not gonna help us, we're gonna do it anyways. That yeah. probably was like, oh, if we can't beat them, then we might as well join them mm-hmm. type yeah. of point. Yeah. Because when it was the, well, I ain't gonna say when it was denied, but when 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 we began began to have obstacles on the first time trying it, yeah, I think it was the indifference we had, like she was saying, the indifference to be like, all right, well, if you're not doing it here, we're just gonna go next door to Winchester, your sister county, and we're gonna sell out there at a, at a black historical school, and that's what it did. My dad even came up and spoke. Yeah, you know the, what I'm I mean, saying? the alderman that actually helped kind of help, you know, wait, the paperwork showed up too. So they they so came in. So I got to give too. a shout out to yeah, they saw it too. Rupert Blackwell, Robin Dunn, and so the next time around, um, you know, uh, I got to give a shout out to Rupert Blackwell for actually helping us with the paperwork, uh, showing us the logistics of how to um, ask for uh, uh, a clearance to yeah. a city building. So, and they gave yeah. us the park too. They so gave we us the got, whole park too. So we got the, the whole, whole renovated park, park that we got renovated. Real, yeah. That was another thing we did. <laughs> we started running our mouths again and we got the park redone and we, we got it dedicated to a historical family here. So now we're having the whole park. We're going to have a basketball tournament down oh, there. Man. Oh. It's you know going to be lit. Like, hey, it's gonna be a bit. We might even have now. I just had a sheriff on the show last week. He's running for sheriff. His name is uh, Tomberlin, Brandon Tomberlin. Now, yeah. I told him to get, I said, he gave me his word, but I'm going to call him. He said he's going to bring the police down there to play in the tournament. So what I told him, though, I said, this would be fun if y'all would, if y'all would come down in y'all's unit, right? And start, you know, whoop, whoop, you know what I mean? You know, breaking up the crowd and everything. You see a bunch of black people at the court. And then they come out and then they got their basketball shorts ready to play. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they said this was like, why would he do that to them? <laughs> 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 with, with a ball. What Martin Lawrence said. <laughs> Ziffna, Ziffna. Hey. For real. Oh yeah, man. God. So we'll see yeah, how that goes. You see that one that got a headband on? Right. right. You know it's going to be one with the tube socks. Right. right. Yeah. You know it. He coming with the ball in his hand. He brought his own ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got mouth balls right. in his arms. Like, right, right, no right. problem. You know? So what, what type of events <laughs> can they expect when you get down there? You know? Go ahead. You want me to say? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to have art, of course. We're going to have music. We're actually going to do a DJ now. At first, it was live music, but we're going to have to switch it up. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to have Black Owned Business um, Expo, too. So we're going to have vendors. Mm -hmm. We'll have food trucks. Beautiful. But then we have community resources. So we have a guy coming um, to teach disaster um, preparedness. That guy, Ark, is Ark coming. Oh! Yeah, I got him coming yeah. down. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Bro, coming <laughs> through. Yeah, I had, I had to get that one again. Oh, yeah. that right? is so perfect. What I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> yes. So That's then we so got uh, financial so services good. coming to teach you how to get rid of those payday loans and get your credit together. Yeah, I'm big uh, we got That's the what I'm funeral about. home coming to show you how to yeah. get the proper insurance so that we don't have to keep doing um what you call those? What are those? When people when somebody dies, GoFundMe account. GoFundMe right, account right, in the hood right. because black no, nobody need got life insurance. Burial yeah. insurance is different. Yeah, different. Yeah, different. Too. Funeral, yeah, funeral, yeah, all that. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we got, <laughs> we got, um, we got uh, two doctors' office coming. They'll be fry, fry, providing services that day too. Yeah. And then what else? Don't do forget got? the most important thing: brothers need jobs. We got oh. Randstad coming through. Yes, they're going to be helping you provide jobs. Oh, and housing. We got somebody housing. coming through to help with housing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's yeah, really a community event. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this yeah. is exactly what Juneteenth is supposed to be. Yeah, man. Right. Like, oh, one more thing, though. Attention. We got scavenger hunts for kids, but it's like a scavenger hunt. Whoever, you know, is going to, you know, gets the most of what we're hiding. We're hiding like that. The, the questions and answers to like Juneteenth quizzes. Okay. Um, oh, so whoever gets the most, you know what I'm saying? They answer the questions and then we got prizes and stuff for them. Right. But mm-hmm. also, here's something that I did not know. Um, about Juneteenth that we actually have our own flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a I didn't, bro. I didn't know till the last it's, week it's when I red, saw it. It's red and blue. It has a star yeah. in the middle with a with a little dot in the middle of the yeah. star. Yeah. See, yeah. I did see the flag. There was I almost a flag. got it tatted on me. 
that was uh, so now you know. So the colors we use to associate with it is actually it's kind of wrong. Yeah, yeah. So those colors we associate is as as red, black, and green, which of course is you know for 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 the land, for the blood, and you know for I forgot what the black was for. I think it was for the people. Mm -hmm. But like, Yeah. yeah. So, but we got it misconstrued because technically, I mean, what people call FBA, you know, Foundation of Black Americans, uh, we may have African descent. Some of us do. Uh, w- Some of us. Real quick, what's FBA? F- <laughs> FBA? I did the same thing. FBA, I was like, F- FBA an FBA is a foundational <laughs> Black American. Foundation so basically, Black. basically, if you were born here and raised here, like you don't come from any other country, you know, we may have descendant, but like if you were born here and raised here as a Black person, Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Tariq Nasheed crowned it or something, but it's been known mm-hmm. all around the YouTube world as FBA, Foundational Black Americans, mm-hmm. which wow. means like we cultivated this land. This is our land. Pay us what you owe us. You know what I mean? Like take care of home first in a way. Right. Oh, okay. But, um, I thought that was like the Eidos, the, the African descendants of slavery. Oh, right? That's the same? Yeah. Is that the same? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know if they're connected, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think they're recognized as just being Black Americans mm-hmm. off the rip. You know what wow. I'm saying? Like. This is our land, you know what I'm saying? And there's right. even more history that can be controversial, but we could talk about that some other time. Like, because a lot of us are, a lot of us were already, <laughs> yeah, a lot of us were already here. You know what I'm yes, saying? That is true. A lot of us didn't come from Africa as slaves. A lot of us were already here, and um, that will, you know, there's, there's, what they call Indians were really not necessarily. Indians. Yeah, we, oh, the natives. We, you know, the thing is, the, the only Indians there are in the world are from India. Yes. That's just, don't get him started, y'all. Okay, <laughs> well, like, for sure, but that's for sure. <laughs> Took totally different direction. Uh, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. had a great joke one time, and yeah. uh, he was like, he was talking about white people. He was like, we're we're, we're stubborn. He was yeah. like, we got here and was like, is this India? And they're like, no. Yeah. So you're not Indian. Like, yeah, we're gonna no. name it India. <laughs> totally other uh, other people. This isn't Indian. You're not Indians. No. Ah, you're Indians for the next hundred years. That's, that's really how they act, though. Is that? I mean, that's really how. Because they, they made a wrong turn. Because people don't know that the current of the Atlantic Ocean is like this. It's like a. It's like a. It's like an opposite Ferris wheel going in. The current will automatically like it won't take you to. You got it. They because they're, they're, the 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 route that they were taking from uh, Europe off that coast of Spain. They were thinking they were going to go down and loop around Africa and then come up to India. But they didn't realize that when they went into that current of the Atlantic Ocean, it zipped them right into Central the Caribbean. America, yeah. yeah, Central America. Yeah. Like, So, yeah, they thought they were in India and they just said, bump it. We know uh, we don't care if we right or wrong or where we're at. Y'all Indians. That's just what it is. They, so. didn't, do, they didn't do that to us. They didn't do, you know, she's believing it. So. They did that to y'all. Like. I told them they dropped, they dropped, they dropped them off first. Yeah. <laughs> they found y'all hey, first. at least we kept our heritage, though. I don't know what y'all was doing over here in America, but I know we that we're we trying know. to get back y'all right. Part. I know all of our heritage, though. Uh-oh, yeah. Now we got to open a whole nother door. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm telling I'm you, keep my shovel in my pocket. I ain't even gonna yeah, go deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I titled the name of this show "The Slap That uh, Ended COVID," and obviously that's about <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> slapping Chris Rock and Not Chris ended. wasn't heard from again. No. You know what I mean? We haven't heard yeah. about COVID since. They even it's- dropped the mask mandate. I seen a lot. I went online, was shopping, and they had a guy, a guy that was selling like 150 masks for $75. Nice. Even if you sold those masks for a dollar a piece, but that's how much that market is going to crash at this point. Wow. Think about it. No mask mandate? No, nobody's going to buy oh, yeah. a bunch yeah. of masks. Mm-hmm. I will. I really like the mask. I really like the mask. Not for health concerns. It's just when people are talking to me and I'm over the conversation, they can't see me like. Okay. (laughs) The mask did a lot for my life. Like, I I, I was able, yeah. I loved it. It worked for me too because I do faces. And so I was like able to not, you know. Yeah, because some people got anxiety. I, you know, because I have a, sometimes I have a face that may make people think that. Are you mad? What's wrong yeah. with you? Like when you got this over here, you're just chilling, man. Just you just got you. All you can do is go off my eyes, and I'm wearing glasses too. So yeah. <laughs> because so many times we're like a coworker or something like that while I'm working. Just you know, we all in here, and somebody's going to eventually just turn to you and just get to talking. Hey, yeah. You, you no one wants to be rude. We all here, and this yeah. nice person, but it just be that time of the day. You like. I, I, it is eight thirty four in the morning. I right. So right. I want to talk to you right so now. Right here. They don't right. see it <laughs> underneath. Underneath. I'm, 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I love the mask. I might, I might get that they deal. Was, they was people yeah. that legitimately looked prettier. Yeah. Because they had the mask. Yeah. The mask was the answer to the meth mouth. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you didn't see much meth mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Yeah, them yeah. Waffle Houses. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all going to hell. I see why you're but I understand why you're married. Y'all are going, no, that ain't right. Did anybody, did anybody have sex with a mask on during the pandemic? <laughs> well, I will say this. No. You know, in in in, in my um in my past obsession with pornography, I, I've seen skits like that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The, for real, for real. Any, any, mask, any mask company? Does a ski mask count? No. Right. no. Medical surgical. I almost think about it. You almost had me for a minute. You almost had me. <laughs> no, because he's like he's like yes, right. 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 With the yeah, it's Logan. True, though. I had to deal with that too. Did you? Yeah, yeah Logan. Time. I know what you mean. Oh, okay. Good. That was real. Yup. Yeah. Mine are from Walmart. I didn't have no anti fog. Right, right. It was just there. Fifty more dollars in my pocket. That's what I. Had. Right. Oh, uh, go to Zenny. Zenny. Zenny, you owe me a check for what I'm about to say. Uh oh. But go to Zenny. It's called Zenny Optical. It's an uh-huh. app. As long as you get your prescription, bro. Like these gla- I have five pairs of glasses now. Uh-huh. All of them cost like forty bucks. Oh nice. And then I mean, uh, fog resistant, anti UV, whatever the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. it's got a blue tent on it. I got some my reflective ones and all that. Oh, nice. They were thirty bucks. Oh wow! Did they do like a sight test online though? No, you got to get your get tested somewhere else. Oh, I got to get tested gotta, somewhere else. I, love it. I got two pair of prescription shades. I went to court with them on. <laughs> I'm ready to test them out. Yeah, no shades. These are prescription. Yep. Right. <laughs> That's why I need a mask. See, I just, a mask, right. prescription glass. Right. <laughs> You was on your OJ system the whole pandemic, wasn't you? <laughs> right. Right. They don't fit. Don't they fit. don't fit. Don't <laughs> don't fit. fit. Yeah. All right, but this slap. What do okay. y'all think the 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 um uh, true reason behind him getting up there was? The true reason behind the slap? Behind the slap. I'll, I'll um, let him go first, you know, what? and then and then I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this because you know I am a Libra just like him, man. I'm a you Libra. know. You, you feel me? <laughs> uh, now, personally, you know what I'm saying? I can be a very passive person. I can hold a lot of things in. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think, Will, I think it was a conglomerate of thoughts and things over the years. You know what I'm saying? Um, of just uh, even, I, I almost, I'll, I'm, and these are accusations, but I, I've always thought as Will as just being very passive with Jada, not wanting any conflict and be like, hey, whatever makes you happy, like, yeah, it is. I love you to the to the to the death of you. At the end of the day, yeah. I really felt like that he he loved her that much. Why, yeah. why gotta be with Jada though? Like, why can't it be the fact that he was tired of people making fun of him in the media? Like, why was why no, there's a meme about that nigga every it's day? Jada. It was no. definitely Jada. because nobody laughing. nobody listen nobody, nobody would be making fun of nobody be making fun of Will Smith yes, if it wasn't were. for Jada. What do you no, blame listen. on Jada? Who who, yes. who if who <laughs> listen listen. <laughs> Who would make him stop laughing? He was laughing yeah. and then he stopped laughing. He was yeah. laughing. No, okay. Take the smacking in Take, 15 wait. seconds. Take Jada out of the picture. Mm-hmm. Even before the slap. All right. Nobody was gonna be fucking with Will with memes and, and laughing and making him a joke. Okay. And she was right. out of the picture. He okay. was untouchable. Right. Untouchable. Jada. But, but here's the thing though. Ray like y'all Jada. said he was laughing, but in his documentary he said that he laughs even when stuff feels uncomfortable for him. So that's just his defense mechanism. We too. all do. So I don't even think he was funny, to be honest. To, to him, he was just like uh, even if he knew the hey, camera was on him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he's just gonna do what everybody else does. We know the camera's looking. Ha huh? funny, funny, everybody. But he already that. knew when he got in that limo. She was gonna be like, You see this? Let me just talk about this last night. Royce, do you, you suffer didn't... from alopecia? Uh yes, I do. do um Yes, sir. Now I am a person that suffers from alopecia. Can you yeah. please differentiate Alopecia from cancer or HIV or anything. Well, what like about that? just aging? What about aging? Aging. Just, but just aging. Well, let me let me tell you the truth. I mean, like, not to dismiss anybody that has alopecia. It's more of a mental thing for for anybody, for men or women. Like going bald is kind of like ah, you know what I'm saying? It's stripping yep. you what you think is your strength. But um, it's not necessarily a disease per se. So it's not cancer. It's not anything like HIV. Um. 
God, it's just you getting bald spots and not knowing why your hair is falling out. Top, and so, top three of alopecia is stress. Right. Yeah. Wow. You know, um, improper eating um, mm-hmm. for black women. A lot of times, and this is honest, God's truth. We don't get a lot of the minerals and nutrients that we need. And so we're like, we're missing like sulfur and all those things that actually make up black hair. Oh. And so that is really what's causing the alopecia. You want to know why? For us a lot of times. So I'm going to do all that. that. Because we could. They got to be not. You know what I'm saying? They got to know. Soul food. Wow. Yeah. But you know, I've learned to embrace it, man. Like, I know I got a bald spot for my bald spot. But, bro, like, but you got the beard to go with it, bro. You are, y'all are so in style beard. right now. Like, you yeah. winning yeah. right now, bro. You, yeah. Yeah. you out yeah. here, bald, man. Bald heads, no hair, don't care is in the building. You know, shout out to all the bald heads. You know what I mean? But, um, and shout out to all the beards, man. You know what right. I mean? Real talk. Bald head with the beard, man. Bald is head a, with is the beard. That's how I like it. What is that? Different bald classification. Just, right, right. Man. <laughs> bald with the beard. With that look. At any point, at any time, you could pull out a cigar. No one's going to question him. Nothing man. at all. Yeah. Mm, he's distinguished. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. So, also, the reason I, I wanted you to kind of answer that is because when I went to do my own ranting online, people mm-hmm. were complaining. They're like, you're not sensitive for her disease. And then one girl was like, you know, she's dying from that. And I was like, you no. fools. Uh- have no. no idea what you're talking about. Now, if she has lupus, lupus is different. You get what I'm saying? That's she different. Lupus also. If, if, her, if her alopecia is coming from having lupus, yeah. then yeah, then she would be technically, you know, she's sick. But if oh. she just has alopecia, you know what I'm saying, where the hair is falling out because we just not taking care of ourselves properly, oh. just hereditary, then no. She's All right, let's, 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 she has alopecia and lupus. All right. Cool. Then, then, oh no, we're not saying she does. No, no. But let's, saying, let's imagine she does. Okay. Let's, all right. Let's, oh, okay. Then, then, okay. then you're being insensitive. Then and she like, got all yeah. of that. At what point do you, as an adult who is rich, famous, and successful, take a joke and man the fuck up and just sit there like every time? Like I'm at what say, point do you? Time? I'm gonna say why. Point, I, because she has I, alopecia I, and lupus. At what point <laughs> have you ever seen another comedian at any time with all the roast and everything we've ever seen comedians do yeah. get smacked on stage? Never. On I, top of that, then yeah. they I don't read. care what he. I don't care what the joke was. Sit your ass in your seat. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Be yeah. Wait. Catch him in the back. They yeah. resurfaced. Yeah. They resurfaced. Will Smith telling ball jokes, and then when the crowd yeah. booed him, he said, "Oh, they're just jokes." I was like, "Oh, yeah. that's, that's the death yeah. of that." Kind I mean, of, is it Arsenio? Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, look at it, Dave Chappelle. When you on on this last one, when he talked about the trans trans woman Joker or the joke or the yeah. comedian, uh-huh. and the comedian ended up killing himself, right? Uh-huh. But he still made a joke about it that made us laugh toward the end when he was talking about. I found out, you know what I'm saying, that that my, you know, my trans woman friend, comedian, jumped off, you know, jumped off a uh, bridge, something, committed suicide. And he was like, ah, that's not something a man would do, you know, and I I was cracking up. But he knew that he he knew he knew that his comedian friend would would be laughing in his grave. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was nobody said nothing about it. He just said he but he made common sense. He made him think like he really made you think that you cannot make your make yourself something different than what god made you in your mind you may think you're somebody else that's why he said ah a real nigga wouldn't do that you know i don't i don't if he is a woman in his mind a nigga wouldn't just do that you know no he wouldn't he really wouldn't so and you... it was i think it's just a collective of things i don't think that it was just chris rock i think chris rock just got it you know what i'm saying like i think he just got it you know how you just you know he just was like the last person he was like you know what everybody about to get it chris rock is gonna feel it Chris Rock about to get rocked. I think it was staged. What? I think it was fake. We can talk about that too. I think because it was fake. Because you do setup. know. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna add to that mm-hmm. just to play around with it. Did you know <laughs> that? I said it. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that the Oscars were sponsored by Pfizer? Okay. One. Did you know that Pfizer is also working on a anecdote? and or cure for alopecia. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. So that's pushing the agenda. Sounds like an agenda to me, too. Yeah. And you know who it's going to go to first, because we suffer from that, even though it has to do with the hair stuff we use, right? It's going to go to black women. And watch Jada be on the commercial. And she will be. Of course. So they got a contract. Uh, it's always financial. I was, we were talking yeah. about this yesterday. I was they like, there's no way there was no plan. Wow. It's Hollywood. 
Yeah. It's Hollywood. So I'm looking at it both ways. I'm not putting past putting nothing past Hollywood. Bruh. All right. Let me just first off by by saying both Will and Jada's names were on the uh, flight logs for Epstein. So right there, you just got to. Oh, yeah, you already know. Bill so Clinton. That, that yeah. just, I say double check and second guess everything, anybody that's on that oh, list. Yeah. Does. And they, they boycotted the Oscars. Yes. Then it just so happens that the Oscars is where he, he wins his first Oscar and then he goes ahead and screws that. Like there's there's money somewhere. And the last time the Oscars were this talk about was with Chris Rock, Jada, and Will. That's that's, Six years that's, ago. that's they need the yeah, they need the views. Yeah. Uh, Chris Rock needs the ticket sales. Red Table Talk needs needs some new buzz because right. the entanglement yeah. then fizzled out. Bill yeah. needs the book sales, book sales, the movies, book sales and that, that documentary. Did. Did. Yeah. You're checking my life. You got Pfizer getting ready for alopecia with a contract with they with the ambassador already set up. Everybody <laughs> wins. Everybody <laughs> wins. Yep. And we just fall for the okie doke every time. Man, and and the thing is, nobody ever stops and is like, Err. wait a minute. Yeah. Are we not used to this yet? I mean, let's, I do. let's just double check this real quick. And I didn't even know about the Pfizer one. Nah, I I yeah, yeah. Pfizer, Pfizer Logan. Man. Logan, you, you look that up, Logan. Pfizer, man. Real talk. That's crazy. Because, I mean, just look at the seating Nothing arrangements. Right he yeah. spelled it right. He Never it. has the seating arrangements been like that. Oprah wasn't there. Whoopi wasn't there. Yeah. They didn't want to be part of that bullshit. Oh, they, they already knew, though. The I didn't think about that. They weren't there. They knew, man. though. They, they, they were in hanging the off to the side. Oh, I ain't got damn going to this. <laughs> I heard what's going to happen this year. Yeah. But the Jew, with the Jew, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they tried to shut Whoopi up prior to that, too. Yeah, oh, wow. with the Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they they set, showed though. they dropped an article today talking about Will Smith was in what India looking for Bollywood jobs now. You believe that's that? a lie? They yeah. had the pictures. They I had don't the pictures of him out there. But no, he came I don't. I don't believe that. Yeah, okay, it's true. But look, y'all think about it like this, that's, man. That's Will Smith is worth. <laughs> Will Smith is worth. Yeah, Aladdin, but like probably so. He's probably the looking two, for the, the real actors deal. in Aladdin are the biggest Bollywood stars. Yeah, that's so true. He just did a movie with the two, the biggest male yeah. and female Bollywood stars. So I wouldn't go yeah. there and that's like international, hey. international. But see, don't think he's a three hundred fifty dollar. <laughs> he's a three hundred fifty million dollar man. Don't think that he can't start his own studio like Anthony Anthony Mackie's building a black studio in Memphis. Twenty acres. No, no, acres. Anthony Mackie is in New Orleans. He's building. It oh, it's New Orleans. It's Sorry, New Orleans. New Orleans. And then you got. I was worried you know, about Memphis. You got your Tyler Perry. I was like, mm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why. Like, we can have our own awards. We, I mean, our our big black actors have enough money to start their own. Like, who cares about being suspended for ten years? Just there's so many black actors, man, that I know, man, that just need a break. Such a, a BS punishment. But I think the question who, who is, what's in the contract though? Ten years. That sounds like some slave stuff. Well, I'm just saying, like. I mean, it's well known that black people can't just spend their money when they're rich like that. So what's in the contract? In the contract? Like, I mean, what, whatever contract they you gotta, have. You got to think how, how did, how did, how did, how did Spike Lee do it with, with like, how did Tyler Perry do it? He did it on his own though. Like, right. They're independent though. That's okay. what I mean. Will can go ah, independent. He's got Tyler Perry no, he's saying go own. independent, but you don't know what type of contract Will is under. Oh, well, may You not see know. what I'm saying? Like um, he yeah, signed right. the dotted line for somebody else to sponsor him basically. Yeah. So he might not be able to set do his money like that. That's the part of the contract. I mean, yeah, I feel it. He, I mean, was, he I didn't start it. off independent. He didn't I, stay yeah. independent. So you're not independent. You are run. You are slaved out. He is on Sorry, Epstein's out. flight logs. <laughs> okay. that's, that's the contract. That's the contract. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's enough right there. Did anybody wow. hear about that case though? Like what happened? Yeah, what happened? Oh, what a good question. <laughs> You know, we've been distracted. I and still got a prize. There's still a prize up for anybody that can tell me what happened with Epstein's case. Not Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah. That is is a he even. Case, a separate no. person. Is he even dead for real? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm about to go there with that one. Is I, he even dead? I don't think no. so. I wouldn't kill myself. No. No, he, he didn't. Hank not in that does not drain the blood from your body. Mm. But a corpse that was already there. Will not have blood in. Yeah, it, you know what I mean. He's not brave enough to do it either way. I don't think he's brave enough. To no, do that. they pulled him out. He knows too much. There's no way. Plus, I, I can't, mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, if we be real. They like messing with kids. So why would they get rid of their person that gets them the kids? I mean, I just, ah, I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe somebody's dead that has three passports. You mean to tell me you have three identities, but I'm supposed to believe you're dead? 
Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. He can make it happen. I don't be, you're made made by the yeah. biggest, yeah. most powerful little nation in the whole world. Yes, mm-hmm. you can make it happen. Dude yep. gave you a billion dollars for no reason. Yeah. You can definitely yeah. fake your death. He probably, Epstein probably walking around look like, looking like one of us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the melanin shot. Right? The melanin shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wow. I don't put it up there. That's crazy. I wonder, I I wonder if, because, you know, like they built Dubai. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we got places like North Sentinel Island where people can't go to. The, mm-hmm. uh, the Indian uh, Navy, you know, they, they go and they patrol that. So I wonder if. I mean, what's the possibility of building a little island that nobody oh. that, you know? You change. already know. You can Google right now all the actors who've bought islands. Yeah. Yes. They build islands now. Yeah. Yeah. They build an island. That's crazy. You know how much it costs to build an island? I do not. One point. Uh, it's a, a, a one point two five. Yeah. Yeah. Million or trillion? Million. Okay. Yeah, just to start it off, you can build on your own. I thought of that. One point two five. Will Smith is three hundred and fifty million. That's true. And they can they can just dip off. He died. Yeah. Who says all the people that run it, all the people yep. in charge? Right. Yep. You think yep. you're gonna learn about us fucking children? Bullshit. He's on an island. Yep. We got right. Because you know, I mean, he had information for days to trade. Mm-hmm. Trade all of it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So hey hey Royce, what season are you in your show right now? Um, right now uh, I'm in season five, episode uh, six, starting next week or whatever. So. Uh, um, so I've really like chopped them up because I mean there was a lot of shows over the year like we had to take like there, with an exception of probably like fifty shows we ain't we ain't posted up. I, I slick kind of just started over because I, I I wanted it a certain you know some certain content you know in a certain way but like eventually like for for season six and stuff like that season seven I'm gonna start throwing some 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 un uh, unreleased type footage of things you know what I'm saying like. I'm thinking about releasing my very first podcast, the one that nobody saw saw. Like the whole like the whole one, it was actually for Juneteenth to be exact. And I only made it a 30 minute show when it was really like a two hour one. So there's a lot of things I'm gonna be regurgitating that people hadn't seen. But fifth season, um, her year started in Juneteenth of 2019. 2019. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of full circle. We're going into our third year with it and uh we're going to be upgrading some things. And, uh, of course, Josh and I, you know, we're still doing the film stuff, working with our artist, Marcus. Right. Uh, nice. Working on this EP. You know what I'm saying? She's doing her thing, you know what I'm saying, with people still buying out the butter. You know what I'm saying? She's still making people, you know, what they call the hair weave killer. You know what I'm saying? Natural <laughs> hair killer, all that stuff. You know, she she doing her thing, man. So, uh, yeah, really excited about the, you know, the movement and everything that's, that's going on uh, with that show. Cool. Man, really excited. We got some good things coming uh, next year, man. Yeah, I hope sure. y'all can be a part of it, man. Any of our listeners, make sure to check out Royce's Ramp. Um, you can see it. You can check it out on Facebook and, and all other platforms. But I watch it personally on Facebook. But, um, but yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's all kind of different. It's got a mixture of political, community. Everything's on there. Definitely check that out. So. Already. And shout out to y'all, too, man. I remember when y'all first called in. I think it was on my second season. It was I was doing the call-ins. We were kind of reminiscing about the 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 the, the 931 awards. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we had them in some years. Yeah. 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 But it was a good time. Award. Though. It was. It was. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool to uh, see people, you know, being acknowledged, you know what yeah, I mean? Giving their flowers. Yeah. 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 So, we need some more of that. We need some more of that. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Them, I'm not putting it together. Put that together. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Well, I feel you. I come in my inbox. No. <laughs> right, look. I feel you. I thought I had did, bro, you should go ahead. I'm running out of time. I ain't right. got no time, bro. Not enough time, not enough money. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, but what can they uh, look forward to in the, uh, the rest of the season six? Uh, I mean, I, I filled up the whole season with guests, man. So I have like 10 episodes, like, geared up or whatever um like i said on six one uh i mean we, we have some entrepreneurs coming in shout out to uh jared dalton he's got a critically acclaimed marketing company in nashville like digital marketing company i've done work um, with jared. well not he me and him work with uh arc but yeah oh, okay yeah so everybody knows we shot jd's first two videos as a matter of nice, fact man nice. uh back in the day um and then uh you know we got some people coming in you know talking about you know mental health for black men real talk um wow. it's definitely gonna be a really good one i haven't seen um, that before 
Yeah, it's like th that's really gonna be that's gonna be a really nice discussion with that. And like she's actually engulfed into it, like it's doctor a, it's a female. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like that's that's the different part. You know what I'm saying? It's kinda and it's kinda like a I'll say it like this. When men listen when the men are when they listen to her talk, I think it's gonna be a breath of fresh air without trying to say, ah, is she just saying this to be a pick me? Like, no, nah, she really breaks it down. Just breaks it down to a way it's like, dang, okay. All right, well, that makes sense. That's some good advice to give black men, so to speak. So um, let me so ask she, you this. As, go ahead. as us being, you know, the three black men here, do you ever, like, find yourself trying to validate your own thoughts? Because you can't, you have to determine, like, okay, am I being irrational here because the society has put a, a like a stipulation that that our thoughts are always some sort of irrational mm -hmm. we're the mad black, black man, man yes. and stuff do you ever find huh. yourself trying to validate your thoughts you know when you when you get in situations um honestly i don't think i validate them enough yeah wow. you know i don't really consider um, and that's actually the first, I ain't gonna say the first, but I really don't hear too much about the angry black man as that stigma. Really? I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think our stigma is not being mad enough. Right. I look like, I look like yeah. the prototype. And I know every <laughs> office job I've ever had, when I start complaining, oh, he's an angry black guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, I, I know off of just basic encounter. Like if they don't already know me or like know of me or something like that, if it's just. Yeah, yeah. Our first, I already know what I look like. I look like I'm forever on parole. I know it. Right? <laughs> He's yeah. just so on parole. Anytime, I just, and, and and sometimes you don't even have to voice your thoughts. Yeah. You could just not smile and go along. Yeah, you if know you're what not mean? chatty and yeah, if you just day. reserved yeah. to yourself, you can still get that angry black man thing. And so you, okay. you're second guessing your own actions. You trying your best to be a fly on the wall and and you actually the elephant in the room right it's, it's mm. hard to balance that yeah i think, I think that's really for like black that's for black women too though like what you're saying right there as far mm. as like if that's what, 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 what do y'all call it like resting bitch face but really we just don't want no problems with nobody See? you know honestly. Yeah, and you automatically think we're mad, but we're really not. We just don't want it. We don't want no problems. <laughs> but you know, naturally, black people are on a swivel, man. I don't know if that's just in, in our DNA to be on edge or trying to prove something. You know, all the time. Like I think a lot of black people, what we don't talk about is that we, we try to prove to people who have no control over our lives. I mean, if I'm gonna keep it real, like there's a stigma within the black community sometimes it's like black people feel like that they owe white people something. So we're always at attention and we're making sure we got all our eyes dotted and T's crossed and we don't want to, you know, lose any friendship or, 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 or any type of connection, business connection with them. We don't want to say the wrong things. We don't want, what's the word we hear a lot. We don't want them to make them feel uncomfortable. Right. We've heard right. that literally this past week, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't want to make them uncomfortable. So we got to make sure I'm like, man, that's not, we always doing that, you know, and I think the stigma I feel like we have to release as black people is to be unapologetically black, unapologetic about your culture, because they're making money off of it. Well, so in, in I, certain situations, I'm sorry to cut you off. In certain you situations, that, that, that is the, the method to take. But in other ones, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, man, what's, what's my man's name? And I, I feel so bad that I don't remember his name. But he he spent time in Rikers Island. They did a documentary on him. You know what I mean? Oh, we're talking about my boy, the one that died. Yeah, man, he killed himself, man. Yeah, he killed himself. Like he, that was just for crazy just, what joyriding, right? Yeah. Well, no, he was walking. He went to the store. Like it's cool to be all the other guy. Okay. black, and it's cool to you know me. I'm super woke. I'm super black. Yeah, like, yeah. But at the same time, if my black ass with my hair and all these tattoos and everything, if I'm just happen to be standing over there and something happens over here. If yeah, they say I took that backpack, I gotta go to jail. Yeah, so I could be on a, I could talk all that good rah rah stuff, but I've I've been beat up by the police for just being the nigga standing there. You know what I mean? Like you think it's based on your skin color though? Like I think that because I mean, let's talk about colorism. Let's just be real, right? Okay. You know, darker skin tone people are automatically put in the third category. But being a male, 
I'm a I'm a right? black male. He's light than a mug. He's still gonna get the same. What did, what were you doing over here? Right. I don't know what happened over there. But what were you doing? You know what I mean? Like being a black man <laughs> is just a it's a very just an underlining of I'm dangerous. Now I'll try. I remember. Way. You know what I mean? Like, of just like it. there's an element to where they still got to make sure you're good. Yeah. Right. You're right. Good, I- you're gonna. Are you one of the nice ones? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but like you, well, actually, for for it's white people, if you may be honest, when the child is up to about age eight, if it's a black male, they love him. I mean, just be real. Like they they cater to him. They look at him like, oh, look at him, he's so cute. But when he hits about eight years old, I've noticed is when he becomes like every other wow. black person. Yeah. And they start to put you in the category of a thug. Right. So so. You know, I remember even living here, I told him, I said, stop catering to my child like that because when he turned eight, y'all gonna start treating him like he's a nigga. Yep, mm-hmm. there it is. And it happened, you know what I'm saying? And then I had to go off. So yeah. that's what happens to y'all. Now, it, it, now it was she's very angry. Confusing. <laughs> well, yeah. Now, right. But that's real talk. <laughs> And then yeah. when you have that, that that's what makes those, that, uh, those mental issues, man. Like when you got you a kid don't... that eight, the, the approach of the world is changed on you by the time you're 16. It's you don't know exactly what your place is. You don't know right. how you're supposed to move and then what you've observed. Well, more so, right. how, you, how you got to that point. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. To add what you were saying earlier, I, I used to work for the newspaper, okay? And the newspaper, everybody at the paper, mostly was white. I think there's one other black guy that worked in advertising or something like that. But anyways, it, nobody really had to carry around their uh, press passes. But every time mm-hmm. I walked up to any scene of anything, yeah, hey, they, they approached me with the hand on the hip. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no, not that. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> what, what are not you doing hip. here? I, I'm here to shoot. I'm here for the paper. You know what I mean? You got any credentials? Nobody ever had to ask that. I've walked in events with other people that work mm-hmm. at the paper. I'm with the newspaper. I'm with the newspaper. I got to. The, I'm with the newspaper. You got credentials? Yeah. Like you just yeah. let three of us walk by. Yeah. What's the chance the fourth yeah. person is not part of the paper? You know. And it's that that, that will mess with your mental, man. Yeah. Those subtle now, things. Now let's not put past that within some white communities and establishments of authority. That's not out like they don't have a token black person. Right. They have to. They have to. A, gate, a gatekeeper, you know? And they all almost... say that some token black people are not the gatekeepers, though. Of black people, though. Like, you're saying there's a token black person. That's true. But there's, okay, so here, here's how I look at it. I'm just going to be honest. All right. There's the forefronted one, the one that don't know. They, they know they're the token black person, but they don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And then there's that one that's kind of not put at the front. But they're the messy ones. They're the ones that keep everybody in line. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Seen keep but not seen. Yeah. That's the gatekeeper. The right, right. That's the gatekeeper. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, it's it's. I hate to even say this. In those situations, it be most of the time it be the party white girl that be the gatekeeper in the hard do. <laughs> well, right. Say that, that one more time. White girl can <laughs> solidify you. Oh, he's cool. Oh, I I I, I fuck with Brandon. He's cool. That's my guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what makes And the rest good. of them going to be like, oh, you got some weed? That's yeah. what they do. You know? Right. <laughs> that's for real. Right. That's, that's the truth. Yeah. Before yeah. you get that like check that. from the party white girl, you're still yeah. questionable. You're still questionable. Mm-hmm. You're still that's questionable. True. That's for real, though. That's and that crazy. messes with your yeah. mental. Yes. That fucks that's, with your mental. Yeah, that's right. a catch-22 right there. And then, because you got to come home now, and and still be your black self with your family and yes. you know what i mean and it, you done went through three different <laughs> code switches you got to deal with yep. in the Man. day you know what i mean I know that. culture yeah. hopping yeah just so you can culture just so you can make it through just so you ain't got to worry about them conspiring behind your back and making up a story and now you gotta go to hr because right. they just don't Man. like the attitude that type oh, of shit. Yeah. like that's oh. real stuff like yeah That'll that will fuck with your mental. Oh, yeah, <laughs> business sure. environments, if you notice, the black dude that lasts the longest, nine times out of ten, be the nigga that's selling them drugs. Hey, man, hey. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? He has a necessity. I don't say see it. Anything. Say it. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong, Royce. It's, tell me. It's the truth, brother. No, you ain't lying. It, it, and I've I, I, I explained that before. You on the chopping block. 
or Look, expendable. Factory jobs. Because it's almost like they can, yeah, they can, they can reuse you when you do stuff like that. Like it's, yeah. it's almost like, it's almost like, and ah, uh, should I, should I, should I say it? Yes. Should I? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Please say it. So in this particular area, in the nine three one area, and uh, there are people who hold that position that you speak of, Demario, that they use them as their guinea pigs and rats. You know, we'll let you pedal a little bit here and there if you give us a little, you know, information about this person here, yeah. you know, be yeah. anonymous yeah. here. It's, you know, set us up a meeting here. Oh, how much is this person bringing in here? And, you know, we'll give you just a slap on the wrist, you know. Have y'all seen that movie Panther in 1995, Mario Van Peebles? I haven't seen it, but I would definitely watch it's it. It's on YouTube really? for free, but oh, it showed right. when they tried to arrest the one of the Black Panthers for robbing a gas station. They were they were uh, the police had had a token dude in the Black Panthers to help set up a robbery, but the token dude set the police up by pretending like he robbed the gas station. But when the police were looking for the witness as a cashier, the cashier was blind. So ah. <laughs> so ah. that was the best ah. okie doke I seen from a from a it's from hard. a mole or a rat in the group. Like he really like you know what? If y'all gonna try to get me to set up the Black Panthers, fine. I'm gonna set y'all up. And well, y'all don't have no witness. You can't you can't say that I did it because he was blind. He was on lunch break. <laughs> so, but that's what they'll do around here. They'll have a token brother or sister. That they'll let pedal a little bit as long as they give them the big fish. You know what I'm saying? And then when they're done using them, they'll throw them in jail or bust in their house or something. I mean, or it, it ain't got to be on a, on a uh, street side of shit. You know what I mean? True. It could be in a regular Business. in a regular warehouse, corporate setting, political. Yeah. Political it's just the way it's set up. When it comes to, to these schools and school boards and, and, and city oh, council. Yeah. And, and It's and the way it's set up. Yep. Everything. Like, they need to make sure that they have... Uh, they'll they'll try to put it in good terms where it says it's the man on the ground. You know what I mean? It's this my yep. eyes and ears, and you know what I'm saying that type of shit. But really, that's that's what it is. And and their livelihood and existence operates in facilitating, uh, even if it's like bullshit information. Like they can mm -hmm. make a. It's sad to say, but those those people will take, um, a mountain. Will take a molehill and make a mountain. Oh, just yeah, so they for can sure. still stay in standing of somewhat as being someone who can provide. Like inclusion is a hell of a drug. Yeah. It, it, yeah, the acceptance and the the perks that possibly come with it that is definitely yeah they'll sell out their own people. For real, and, might not even get perks yeah. just to, just the the job security. You know what yeah, I'm that they think really? they have. Yeah. Just they think they have, right? They not on the on the chopping block. They may not get nothing out of it, but knowing that they looking that way. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And but that's why things take so long to get done. And then you gotta step out and, and be the ones that do like the first Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well that, I mean gotta, we had not well I'm a, I'm a, we've had our share of uh, you know, it yeah. It, all of that <laughs> it, no for real. That, and look, uh, that's how you know it's about to get real. We yeah, we had yeah, it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, there's there's one point in the situation where I was like, yeah, I don't know, I'm about to lose my mind because that's the way it was set up for because that's what was happening like mm -hmm. with everybody. So so for this to happen, yeah, it's like for me, it's like a nothing but God thing. And and, and let me tell you the crazy part about this whole situation: we haven't come out of pocket for nothing, and everything is basically paid for by the community. Blessings, big blessings. When we couldn't get anything because the community wants to see it happen. Right. It's a lot of things that we that we really want and uh and we be waiting on somebody to just make that move. You know what I mean? So it's very courageous of y'all to, to be the ones to at first go outside of of the Tullahoma to Winchester and be like, we still gonna make it happen and then they see that you bringing it there. So I'm I'm not surprised. Like they, they know that you already put the work in, that you pure heart and, and the people provide, you know what I'm saying? The people will, will support what they what they know is 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 that's a we ain't going nowhere is. whether you support it or not we gonna have it it's gonna happen <laughs> but here's, yeah. now here was the surprise though i will say this you know what i'm saying here was the surprise um and i i, I think i i had i had a, i was iffy i was a little afraid of of, of how we were going to get the support i didn't i didn't think we were going to get the support that we needed um and I was just, you know, I was being negative in a sense, but in a way, 
when we were out there foot marching this past weekend for sponsorship, I was very surprised at the amount of people that were willing and getty to support, to sponsor, to buy ad placements, to donate. And it didn't come from our own. Well, I don't know why he's surprised because when I, no, I don't know why he's surprised. <laughs> I had already so locked down. Sad. How much did I already have sponsorship wise? Like mm-hmm. fifteen hundred dollars mm-hmm. from from businesses here, and so he was still didn't believe it. I don't know why you didn't believe it. I guess like, I, I think it was just I had some. I, I really just want. I really I think he and, wants it from our people, and that's not what was happening. Well, know? yeah, that's, I guess <laughs> I just you know. <laughs> well, why do you think that is? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Now I'm asking. I'm, I'm gonna be real, and I'm gonna say this as truthful as possible. But I hurt feelings, and black people will still come they, to this. They, they, they still gonna come. It's still yeah, gonna come. we love them. It's they know free. what's up. It's free. <laughs> and you just play. And we got a basketball Coming. tournament with the with the police. You can still buy Gucci. You can say what you want. You can. Yeah. You can All right. So not get shot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I say it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky, man. Um, <laughs> within the black community and some black communities, you know what I'm saying? There I mean it's true. There are just some people that don't want to see you succeed just because they're not making that particular type of move. They they may be insecure with themselves or disappointed with themselves or why they're not making the move that they need to. Mm-hmm. You have unselfish, ungrateful black people that don't want to see other black people be in the position that they're in. That's that Willie Lynch syndrome type thing, like we're we're really hurting ourselves more than others. So when we do blame the man for some of our issues, I'm half and half with that because on the other on the other part, we do it to ourselves. Sometimes we stop our own progress within our own area, within our own product. Intentionally. Intentionally. Mm. Do you think it's been more intentional than just ignorance of not knowing how important? No, no, it's is? been intentional. Look at my face. It okay. Well, I mean, because you could be, you know, uh, them just being <laughs> ignorant to the importance of of Juneteenth. And they yeah. No. Like, now. Now. Like, now. Yeah. And I'm speaking overall, because there were some black people that didn't know about it either. That's real talk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot. It it's a big too. gap that has yeah. to be filled in with with just years of what is this? It's the day we're yeah. free. Right. <laughs> day and I'm free. not. And I'm not speaking specifically just about Juneteenth, but in general, when we have ah, an event all together, it's like, man, events. people like they don't. We've had opposition with all of them. Every time. Exactly. There was always opposition amongst our own people anytime we did something. Wow. Brandon, can you hoop? No. You're terrible. Oh, no. We can't no. come in as a hoot at 10. I can't. Then. I can't <laughs> I'm going to disappoint you. Yeah. I'm going to disappoint see you. over there. Can you hoop? Oh uh, man, nah. I got two nine hooping motherfuckers. Hey. Two dudes, I'm, I'm <laughs> yep. point, not defense rebounds. Yeah, I'm Dennis Robin. Okay, but, all right. but, that's all you need. Shots, I, mm, mm. shots. Uh, we did. We but did yeah, man. Four we're, four? Uh, it, it, I think it's gonna be three, three and three. Three on three. It's what we're gonna make. Three on three. Substitutions. Do we need a team of six? I mean, as long as the three yes. people on the court. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna Do need we a need substitution. To three hooper. Where? What the frap at? They all hoop. Yeah. What the now, look for Brandon. Look for Brandon. You gonna need a sub for the shooter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A sub for that. But he gonna he gonna do the rebound guy. I got you. I yeah, got you. I, I got, got you on that. Like, I, got I got you. Rebound yeah. defense. I probably I could probably get you about a good ten rebounds, maybe four to five steals. Okay. You know there you go. This, you, know, this guy, you know, man, on the defense side, that's some good. That's some good stats. You can now, turn you that into a point, man. If now somebody, you know, let me get a layup in there, I, I feel good. But there you go, a little put back, <laughs> a little, a little and one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's all I need. Yeah. I ain't gotta show yeah. up. I ain't gotta show up. <laughs> but yeah, I think we suffer with that, like in the black community, man. I don't know what it is. What we have to, we need to start from grassroots to figure out first what's wrong with the black community amongst ourselves. We don't need to reach out to white people. We don't need to bring them in and, and kumbaya with us. We need to talk. We, we Black people need to have a come to Jesus, real talk, accountable conversation about what we're doing wrong within our community. And then once we fix that, let's start complaining about what they're not doing that we've already done for ourselves, like stuff that they could do legally or as a, as a government, as a councilship, uh, what they can do that's out of our control. But I think we can fix things within ourselves and it starts with the home though. Like the black home. We can't blame, there's some things we can't blame white people on when it comes to how you're disciplining your kids. Definitely. There has yeah, to be something that you have to change within people. yourself. Sorry, we can still, we can still definitely blame white people for the discipline part. Like. I know, we, I ain't saying we, I'm not saying that we don't need to, but I'm saying 
They got it. They got it. I, look, 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 look. Way. <laughs> I know, but I know, I know. But listen, B. Listen, B. Where, how far have we gotten doing that now? That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, if we're like, why do we do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I've been a victim of that. I'm like, man, they stopped me from doing that. Like, man, he don't even know you. Like, you could have just done that. Like, I had my, one of my best friends tell me, like, man, what is stopping you from doing this right here? And I tried to blame the white man. Is that, nah, brother, you just didn't pay that bill. Oh, yeah, you know, well, well, man, they weren't answering their phone calls. Well, send them a check. Nah. I don't know. But I'm saying point, we need though. to work within that's, ourselves that's in our shit. black communities. That's real shit, though. Yeah, we, we got to talk within ourselves. Excuses no if more. they talk, see, I don't, I don't even agree with that anymore. I think that there are so many avenues and so many people talking to black people about their mindset. It's not even funny. It is now a choice to be ignorant. We are choosing to be ignorant. Everybody got YouTube. Everybody got access to the internet. Everybody got access to education to be a little bit smarter in their mind. We are choosing to sabotage ourselves. Honestly, uh, I was speaking at this uh, economic um, uh, summit uh, in Pulaski in uh, February, and I, what I said there is pretty much the same thing I'm gonna say right now. That we already had the answers, just no one's uh, used to it. All right, so check this out. What's the it's what's the largest independent newspaper? A largest independent? No, the just period, not out like. The largest independent newspaper in the whole world. What is it? I don't know. I, is the New York Times? No, it's, it's, the, it's the Final Call by Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam. Okay. Okay. They open their own schools, grocery yeah. stores. They have they they are their own source of information, Real estate, of mm -hmm. food, yeah. and education. They've been they doing know. it for over a hundred years. They wear sure. suits in the summer and don't sweat, and we ain't asked them no questions. Right, right. They say when we're summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like, they're eating right. Out, like, you know what, what I'm saying? What does the black yeah. community need? How do we fix this? What do we? They've been doing it for over a hundred years. Take religion and all that out of it. Take all yeah. the yeah. conspiracy <laughs> theories and everything we see. And yeah. just take the concept. They build schools. Grocery stores and they have their own source of information. It's the largest arms. independent news arms. They they have all the answers. Everything That's true. That, that Black America and by and large wants to accomplish, they have yeah. a small narrow group accomplished for a century. Wait, what did you say? You said narrow though, right? Because uh, it's, it's yeah. not for everybody, right? I mean, just being honest, not everybody world, can handle that. Don't, don't take the ideology. Take the method. Why don't right. we have more Jet Magazine sold out? BET sold out. Yeah. If right. they had kept it like they had kept it, mm -hmm. it'd be the largest. You know what I'm saying? Like we got but a real deal. Take lessons from what we see. And money and and access to what they have is what drives us. That's why we sell out. See, that's the problem, though. Yeah, that's the problem. From now, the see, look. We see. When you talking about the NOI, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the way down from, you know, the the the, the how to eat to live. And then they even, like, Elijah Muhammad even had a financial. Mm -hmm. It looked real easy, too, on a chart. He was like, if 30 people gave this much. Yes. If 100 people gave this much, and it just totaled up. I'm like, oh, damn, yes. that easy. Yeah, this has been there over 100 <laughs> years. We just keep on thinking, no, oh, y'all killed Malcolm X. I ain't about to look at it. No, take away the religion. Mm. You ain't got to be Muslim. What? How are y'all making this work in this small group? How many how many Nation of Islam members do you know? My dad was one. One. That's one out of the, the <laughs> four of us right here. And they yeah. still running independently by themselves. How? We can't Brother keep ben X. businesses yeah, open you know, for two hey. years without closing down if you're getting a brick and mortar. They hey. opening up grocery stores on their own. How? Yeah. 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 Now, I'm... Answers. Yeah, how now the problem is why we're not doing it. Now, this is where I can spill into how we're falling victim of the agenda of America, the agenda of the media, the mindset, the music, everything, our social status, like everything that's around us that's social an influence music, that makes us feel like, oh, we're just really sustained to this this type of status as black people here, here, here. No, we're not gonna teach black people how to do we're not gonna put none of that shit on BET. We're not gonna put anything educational on there. Television media that is what's running they're the ones watching our kids you know what i'm saying so they're not getting any intellectual feed to uh for them to apply to their lives to be like what noi is doing man like, i respect what they're doing but it's just like black people and what she said we talk so much to each other at what point when are we going to be like okay let's just do it now it just becomes an individual responsibility now like no i'm doing it see i, I don't know what else is doing but i'm yeah, <laughs> it's only so much yeah. 
Malcolm X even said it. He's like, you can't beat a dead horse. Like, there's only so many times you can you tell can black people. You can lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. You can. Yes. She been trying to tell me that, and like, I, you know, I got this endless hope. You know what I mean? But it's just like I still got hope, but I'm still I'm about to do it. I don't know what else we're supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta let your light shine. You gotta do less talking, and then the leaders just have to do, and then maybe people will follow. That's the but it will. That's what happens. That's what there happens. You know. That's like. Oh. That's the only way. Like we we are a uh I'm just gonna say it. We are as a people once in this nation, um, when it comes to our own, we have to follow. We yeah. we will let another ethnicity or race lead us before we'll let our own lead us. So oh, yeah, only, definitely. the only way you can whether you do Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad, uh Huey P. Newton um hell even raymond washington with the crips they have to see consistent example in front of them when it's their own people yeah so that's even with the why sabotage, like even when they try to sabotage you they have to see that you made it through the sabotage and then they're gonna be like you know what heart you know what yeah, yeah. i might just have to do this because it'd be your own people that set you up like they're like mm -hmm. oh they're not gonna keep doing it mm -hmm. right and then when they're like oh no they're gonna keep doing it they're really gonna keep doing it Yep. Okay, well then we could all do it then. See, yep. that'd be the motivation. Yep. yep. And that's that's, that's the to way say it, that. That's what it is, but that's the way it really works, and it's it's difficult because people don't want to take instruction, and so you gotta mm -hmm. go out, do it yourself, fail, come back, deal with the hate, deal with the people not want to rock with you, come back again, and now they believe in you, and now you can actually start. You know what I'm right. saying, like. Like where other people and other ethnicities are able to just start, we got to go through that uh, that trickumulation, like that accumulation to all right. Now we got some some tread on the ground, and and we got we gonna get some real support. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because like for for people like in Central America and stuff like that, my mom's from Belize. We don't like all of this that happens amongst you know African Americans or people here in the United States. It, it doesn't it doesn't work out like that right. you know like we'll live in the same house all five people you know all five adults with all the kids until everybody gets their stuff together mm -hmm. and gets their own mm -hmm. that's real so, though even shaq does that he was talking yeah. about that with his kids yeah you know? nobody you know what i'm saying it's just it's just, just different like there's that understanding we're in the struggle together but you know we'll buy this whole block everybody have a house on the same block it yeah. ends up working out like that yeah. but that's because they know heritage that's if true. you if you if you have a connection through heritage, then that automatically makes you think of diverse ways to work together. That is true. Like, yep. Yeah, yeah, we yep. we all sold out heritage, and that's why and that's, <laughs> and that, that's why history is important still too. Mm -hmm. like, people yes. try to X out Black history, but I'm like, we need Black history because we need to know how we did it, even through the worst of times. Black right. families were still together. Right. We gotta know how we did it before the boats came. <laughs> For real, they modeled mm -hmm. their life after us. Really, we were civilized. Yeah, Absolutely. just saying. We didn't attack nobody. We didn't go and make wars and conquer land. We, we had everything we needed. Yeah, right. We were civilized, technically. The whole so, time. They, yeah. The whole time every time mineral, every, every we had weed, we whatever we wanted, we had all the amenities. Why we had this, cures. I just say weed at all. Because it's important. <laughs> <laughs> I spilled the beans with people who didn't know, you know, but I'm just saying, like, we had all the resources, you know, so. Mm. We gotta. We just gotta go back to to before the boats came, because then we'll remember heritage. But then we'll remember how the family structure worked. Okay. Right, so, or even yeah. down to like definitely. You could definitely go back. Yes, right. yes, definitely. You don't think facts? You don't. Well, you think have to because even good. the way you name your child is important. No, if we're gonna go back. Okay. We're gonna go back. History repeats itself. If you know the past, you can tell the future. That is We're true. gonna go back. We might have a new contemporary way of doing it. That's what right. I mean. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. We we're always gonna revolutionize a new way of doing like Yes. But we're definitely gonna gonna go back to to uh the traditions that that are that matter. Like the matter. way you name your child or what you speak into your child matters. Cause right. you know that was big. That's why Kunti yeah. Kente wouldn't let his name go. He was like, nah. Yeah, my name means something. My name ain't no Toby. Yeah, my name <laughs> means Toby. Something. That hurt for him to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it took he almost a lot died for his name. name. Yeah. It took 11 slashes. I counted when I was little. I said, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Was like, mm. And that should let you know how important the name was to the ones that were whipping the slaves into a new name. They knew how important the name was. Yeah. That's we, why we got names like John and James and 
and and Jacob and you know what I mean? And like them are not our names. Them are not our original names. Right. You know. So Brandon, what was your original name? Oh, uh, Uriah. <laughs> Uriah. Yeah, it means flame. Real talk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, name of God. If you really, ah, I'm just gonna be quiet. Really? <laughs> you know, we Royce, you got you got an original name. What was that? Your original name? I mean, I name after my daddy, man. I, I made up one of my own. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We are here for a good time, not a long. Yeah, time. my <laughs> made up name was my my made up name was Tay. You know what I'm saying? Tay, Tay was a D A E. That was that was everything. That was the comedian. That was the artist. That was the singer, rapper, writer, mm-hmm. producer. Tay. You know what I'm saying? Shit talker. You know what I mean? I had I had to have something to to, dis, to disconnect from just the world sometimes, right, man. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. You know? You gotta have your alter ego. The alter she ego. had one too. Them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but going back to mental health with black men, that is one of our, our coping mechanisms I don't think we talk about. As black men, we put on these different masks of alter egos right. and nicknames yep. or, or personas. Like, y'all you know what Game of Thrones, the, what y'all got like four or five personalities. <laughs> <laughs> like we real do right. have to go through these different like personas uh uh and and like my creative side is going to be Tay. My professional side is going to be Royce, but you get me on the podcast, you know what I'm saying? That's not exactly like the creative side yeah. and we're able to facilitate our emotions and our thoughts and and compartmentalize them to try to make a little bit of sense out of it yeah. because everything else once we go out in the world, it, right. we just you got to you playing and that's, Let me tell you, you that's playing goddamn. Really, it's just survival. When I name my kids, you know, my son, I was like, I'm going to give him a name that you don't know if he's black or white. When he does his uh, application, you just gonna have to call him and shout out to my mama. Gave so, me the strongest name white name. Monroe. Monroe. <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah. I just I was trying to make it as easy for them to get in, and that ain't nothing against if you choose a traditional African or Israelite name. But I was just. For me, I was like, I don't need to make this life any more difficult than they already gonna have to go through. Cause you know it's gonna happen. Yeah, you know right. it's gonna happen. Plus, it's <laughs> nice just to pop up and surprise them. I'm Brandon Alexander Sproul. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Say it one more time. Say that one more time, Brandon. I'm Brandon Alexander Sproul. (laughs) (laughs) We book things using my name when we pop up with They be confused. (laughs) They be be like, you're Brandon Sproul? Yeah. 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 Yes, I am. (laughs) (laughs) Motherfucker, yeah. Yeah. That's what it be like. He for real. Right at the perfect time. You're burning sprout. Run in, motherfucker. Yep, that's what it. Yep. You ain't even got damn name. I talked to your phone, see? We have right, right. Of book stuff arrived, and they moved our shit. Because ah, we were not what who they, they thought. thought Brandon was supposed to be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> in the moment. In the moment, like we called and booked, you know. Well, she said she talked to Brandon. That's right, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Hey, y'all gotta th- you gotta have to. You're gonna have to do this shoot outside. Yeah, they did. They said yeah. they moved us really? outside. Yes. yes. Wow. Shout out to the factory in Franklin. Yep. That happened. Shout out to the factory in Franklin. Y'all know what's up. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They Who's moved your, us outside. <laughs> passive aggressive racism. Yes. They didn't care, huh? Like, was Trump in office? I'm just. <laughs> this is pre Trump. This is pre Trump. Hey. This is when racism yeah. was dead. You remember that? Racism was over? This yeah. Racism right. Was yeah. Over. <laughs> yeah. Some people just weren't having it. Yeah. Franklin's notorious. You know, they, they were notorious. Like, historically, they were notorious. Like, that was like, you know, the. Those were them rich plantations were in Tennessee at that time. Oh, Franklin, yeah. Hendersonville, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's still there. Yeah. They just turned they just they they turned the plantations into uh into into uh, uh retirement homes now. Yeah, retirement homes and a historic oh, downtown yeah. Franklin. Them well, $2 here they million just, dollar properties. Here they just turned into a tourist attraction. They ain't, they ain't right. switch shit up. It's a plantation. Right. You want to yeah. see where we cap yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Dude, got some blood stains in the back. Like, you know, look. Real Give me twenty five dollars. I'll show you where the niggas were. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Break out the Ouija board. We can talk to Kunta Kinte. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For real. Right. Damn, damn, they got the National yeah. Confederate Museum. That's yeah. why I love yeah. things like this because because I I look at things in a in a big view 
you know, in like a worldview. Because when you think about nation building, you know what I'm saying? You got to right. you gotta look at the... If we came from kings and queens, then we got to think like them. And every king is, is, is taught strategy. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when they open up a National Confederate Museum in Columbia, we need a Juneteenth to pop up in Tullahoma. Right. We need yeah. an offset. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like we need something to balance this this equation. Libra vibes. <laughs> Who said Libra vibes? Woke up and was like, we'll get a Juneteenth. Oh. I feel like it's too much white shit out here. Feeling the tilt. Feeling the tilt. There's a shift in the force. <laughs> My Jedi sense is tingling. Yep. Yep. Real I talk. wonder how fast Disney would sue us if we made a fan, uh, just a fan series of Black Jedi's. Just Black Jedi. They wouldn't sue us. They would sue us. They wouldn't <laughs> sue us. No. Oh no, the new that news headline. They're not gonna take that. Oh. They're not gonna take that. I'll call the NAACP so fast. <laughs> 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 oh, what's wrong? What's wrong with Black Jedi? Jedi? Oh, oh. oh, you can have Samuel Jackson, but that's it. That's it. Mm. That was, we had a whole planet full. Man, I'll have three hashtags in 24 hours. Yes. <laughs> 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 that's so white. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, wow. So, Not Disney on ice, it's Disney on white. I see, I, t- I could do it. I could do it. I wish they would. <laughs> So what uh, before we get out of here, what what can they uh, where can they find you? A few people had asked that. And um, what can they look forward to? When they say where can they find what do you like? Where can you they guys, find your shows, um, like, your products, yeah. all that stuff. and information oh, on June team. Um, man, all I say for, for, you know, for me, um, Royce's rant, R-O-Y-C-E apostrophe S-R-A-N-T. Um, I actually have the easiest way. You can really just Google that and it'll pull up everything. Um, as far as, you know, the, 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 the talks that I've had, the, the shows our our film, um, just to make it easy on people, Royce's rant. Um, like I said, we have, we've got a great show coming up, uh, next monday about you know uh black mental health for men and what he say but everybody wasn't they wasn't there were no, some peasants wasn't. there were some peasants in there, there were some too. peasants in there yeah. decide in the black community who is king and queen hey you know at the end of the well, day no you don't decide man you know you just you don't, don't decide bro you let the universe do what it's gonna do people the cream gonna rise to the top but you don't exclude anybody that's trying to be a part of it. right that's, that's true. true that's, that's true. equality that's true. and with equality that's an equal chance to succeed and fail exactly Exactly. That's all we're asking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, you know, um, yeah, just Google Royce's rant, you guys, man. Like, there's a lot of things that's coming up. Uh, some stuff I'm, I'm going to hold right now because uh, I wanted to be a surprise to everybody. You know, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I'm just, you know, working to get to that little point right there to, to, show, to show the people. But other than that, man, we're going to be working on more short films. We're getting ready for our artists' debut album coming out uh, before the summer's out. We're already working on film ideas. You know, Marcus, uh, Marcus Pendleton, or AKA K Mars, singer, dancer extraordinaire, man. He's been all over the world touring and stuff. And we're finally bringing him back home to middle Tennessee wow. and working on his debut album. We're going to have a, uh, we're not, it's not, we're not even shooting the film. I mean, a video, it's really a movie for his album. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, that's what we're waiting on there, man. Now, when you say it's a movie, Mm-hmm. Is it like a documentary style, like the Yeezus joint, or was it a, uh, or is it an actual like scripted movie to follow along with the album? Yep. So it's going to be a movie, and the songs are going to be the soundtrack, pretty much. So it's like you won't see the artist performing. Like get rich and die trying. Yeah. Yeah. You just you just see the actors doing what they do according to what the song is talking about. Yeah. Love that. That's cool. That's cool. Love that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, real quick, if um, where can I see? Do you have any previous like? films online or anything like that yeah uh actually whew, i would have to uh you need to send the links yeah i would have to send you the link i want to um, but we did it. i'll say recent a recent i say recent one of the, the last music videos we did was of uh if you stand in b stokes in nashville uh it's called i'm straight um not what you think though <laughs> <laughs> but uh but it's, it's pretty political you know what i'm saying and so we were taking a different approach to it. Uh, Josh had a great idea of the concept. And it's so funny that we happened to release the video when January 6th happened and it had everything to do with January 6th. You know, it was Every funny time. how that happened. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, you, you can check them. I'll definitely put the links like on y'all's thing and 
of course. Yeah, uh, send them to us, and we'll uh, we'll post them on the page. Uh, for, yeah, yeah. For all of our and let's not forget about family. um, of course, you know what I'm saying. What 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 makes the makes the hair all shiny and the face all glistening and stuff like? She got to talk about the Jay's butter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I really wasn't going to, she but if you want to buy Jay's butter, to buy, I wasn't. You better, you better, you better uh, pop your shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't, but you could go to www.jaysbutter.com and that's J-A-I-S B-U-T-T-E-R and um, just hit my inbox. And really, I answer all my questions and stuff like that. And then as far as events are concerned, you know, I just want to go to everybody's city and be doing these events for free. So that's, uh, y'all going to have to pay me. <laughs> there, it is. There, it is. there you go. There you go. Oh, that look creamy, ooh, don't that it? Look, ooh, that look luxurious. It look creamy, y'all. <laughs> <Luxury right there. laughs> look luxury. You're gonna have to give me some. Oh yeah. Are you gonna be I vending mean, at Juneteenth? No, I'm not selling my stuff. Okay. No, I wouldn't do that. So, I'm gonna let everybody else do their thing. For people that don't know, give them a date and a location for your Juneteenth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Well, it's called Shattered Chains. You see the shirt here, but that's not that's not actually what the flyer looks like. But uh, but when you type in Shattered Chains as a page or, or a group or whatever, you'll see that event there. It's going to be on June 18th. Uh, actually, Juneteenth is now a federal holiday. Uh, first one here at Tullahoma. It'll be from 12 to 5 p.m. Um, it'll be at the CD Stamps facility, which is a.k.a. the old Davidson Academy Historical Black School. It's going to be on South Jackson Street. Um, we're going to have yeah, vendors, we already said that, musicians, yeah. basketball tournaments. And uh, it's going to be a ball, man. It's probably going to go by fast, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just five hours, but, you know, we want to be in and out and uh, just uh, go according to the time that the city has given us. You know, they, they've done a lot for us, so we're going to abide by those rules. Now, the basketball tournament may start a little earlier, so we have a tentative time right now. Um, we're going to try to start before noon. Okay. You know, because it is going to be hot and we just want to make sure we get enough of the people in the bracket so it can right. end at a decent time and hour and reward those winners and stuff like that and close it out. That's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. That sounds like a full day. And everybody, please make sure if you need any uh, help with housing, any help with uh, with uh, clinical stuff, make sure you yeah. go uh, for up. that. Also, make sure you get your butt down there for real. This is a day to have fun, but also a day to if you need some help, go ahead. Go right. ahead. Ain't nobody about to judge you. Ain't nobody gonna look at you differently. You go down there and you get you some some shit to help your life better. All right. We all yeah, yeah. going through it, and I'm very, 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 very excited for y'all. Uh, first one in Tullahoma, and y'all bringing so much to the to the yeah. first event. I mean, it's only up from here. It's only oh, yeah. up. Yeah. It's only up. I love it. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I look forward to. Uh, and we gonna have to collab, bro. We got We got to You know what I'm saying? I mean, and it was good. I'm glad Demario came through the last time. Like, finally got to see his face. You know what I'm saying? And right. like, we 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 gonna have to. You know, off the record. You know, we need to talk about really uh, doing some things and make it a nine three one thing in certain in, in, in other events. It's like, time. Let's make, it's let's make time. that uh, huge. Gonna work. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk to you guys both about. Yeah. And we talked okay. about it briefly when I came and we met. Yeah. But yeah, utilize yeah. all our sources. There's yeah. so many people that do. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, um, I thank you guys for coming on and uh, talking you about your event and you know entertaining our guests a little bit, dropping some knowledge at the same time. It was a good That's conversation. Right. Hey, shout out to all the who 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 that podcast listeners. Our believers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Believe. Right. I'm gonna call the them our believers. believers. They yeah. believe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for believing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Real talk, man. All believe and donate. Thank you. For oh, and that. donate. <laughs> donate to them. Yes. Thank you. Thank donate. you. Yes. Donation. Yes. Y'all need to. Be, I need to put y'all's cash app on y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been told to do that myself more. Like, okay. Cash app. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put that there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they said we believe. We believe. Thank you. Hey, that should be the name of the cash app. Yeah. We believe. <laughs> we believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be up momentarily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what up, frap? Frap in the trap. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of our brother podcasts. There. Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out to what the frap, everybody. But yeah, you want to close us out, bro? Um, hey, everybody, make sure that you go get some merch. We're gonna have some new merch coming because it's a new season. You already know. Uh, we have lots of announcements that are coming very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure that you are tapped in on the page because there are things that's gonna be podcast related. There's things that's gonna be like uh 
bruh said at the at the top of the show, movie related. Um, and then there's things that are just community related that we are doing, and there's just a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure that everybody stays tapped in, spread the word, make sure that people tune in because I don't want y'all to miss that. Uh, we got a lot of really cool guests, really interesting people uh, yeah, coming Survivor this season. Survivor stories coming. Survivor stories. We got the uh, Who That Reviews amping back up where we're going to be uh, reviewing food, you know what I mean, for all of y'all that got plates. Uh, uh, hit me up about the tacos and all that. I got all of it. We're going to do all of that. Yeah. Um, we appreciate y'all patience of uh, tuning in. Hey, like always, stay blessed. Don't stress. Life is just a test. Who that? Who that? You're now rocking with DJ. Go, 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 go. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's nothing wrong. It's gotta be my imagination. I like it's in the face. You have like both. It's in the face. Like it's DJ in the face. They not for right. Let's go. Who they? 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 Who